In this video, I'll be ranking every single stage in Tekken 8, including all the new ones that we haven't gotten to play yet. So let's not waste any time and let's get straight into the rankings. So we'll start with Arena. These are both Arena. There's two. There's the regular Arena and then Arena Underground. They both have the same music. It's just a different kind of like aesthetic. Honestly, I don't know why these two stages aren't like the same version, just like this, this final round it changes. It's kind of weird that they're both like separate on the stage select screen, but I will say these stages have like some of the best music in the game. I, I love, love, love the arena music. So I think just off of the music, it gets probably a solid A, right? A or B. I mean, they're, they're very simple stages, right? Like there's no wall breaks. It's just standard, standard gameplay. Um, I'll give it a B. It's, it's basically just getting a B just for the um, just for the music, because the music is so good. Um, yeah, but yeah. But it is like, overall, it's just standard arena, right? Yakushima. Okay, Yakushima, this is basically the game's infinite stage. It's not technically infinite, but it's so long you'll never reach the end in any normal match. But honestly, really, really, really pretty stage. Like one of the, one of the prettiest stages in the game, I think. And the music, bro, the music is so good. I think it's very reminiscent of like old school Tekken, but I, I love it. Really, really great music. But I mean, it is, it's simple, right? Like it's like the first one. There's no, uh, no crazy like balcony breaks or anything like that. It's just a simple, basically infinite stage. Though I'm not the biggest fan of infinite stages. I kind of would prefer the game without them. Then again, I play characters who get crazy damage. So a little bit of bias there, but I, I don't know. I think just for the aesthetic, it gets like an A. Like, this is a really, really, really pretty stage. Like, super, super pretty. So, um, yeah, I think I like A for this one. Like, both the music and the music's really, really good. Looks super pretty. It's, it might be one of the prettiest stages. So, yeah, great, great stage overall. I'm a big fan of that one. Um, Rebel Hanger. Uh, none. This is a stick. This is a sick stage. I really, really like Rebel Hanger. Um, it's it's a lot more complex than the first two. Obviously, we have the balcony break, so it's a little bit more like there's more gameplay variety. Muse, the music is great, bro. I'm a sucker for this kind of aesthetic of like it's like a a base kind of with like the helicopters and everything, and all the like the storage and yeah, the balcony break just makes it even better. And the music is excellent in this one. I have to say, might be an S. I'm honestly not. I think I'll put it an A for now. Yeah, I think I put an A. But the music on that one is also like really, really, really good music. Um, okay. Urban Square. Again, they did the same thing for Arena where Urban Square and then Urban Square Evening. They're basically the exact same stage. It's a simple stage, right? There's no, um, no like wall, special wall breaks, balcony breaks, floor breaks, anything like that. Simple stage, which you always have to have them. The music is actually really, really good in these ones. I'm a big fan of them. But I feel, I feel like it should have just changed the evening in the final round. I don't know why they're, I don't know why they're separate. Maybe it does change. Maybe it will change in the final one. I don't know. But I'm, I'm only going to rank one of them because it's the same fucking stage. Is it A or is it B? Um, it, it is very, very pretty too. I think I'll put it in A. Just because I like the music. It's pretty. It's pretty unique. Dude, the stages are all so good. Like I'm going to have to move Arena up too just because like how can I put how can I rank any of these low? I don't know. I'm going to just the back. Coliseum Fate. This is a very, very nice stage. It's very pretty as well. Like one of the better looking stages, I think. This game is just so good. Like the game is so good looking compared to Tekken 7. Tekken 7 just looks so fucking awful. Um, it's kind of basic. It's just like a really, I think it's like a really long stage if I remember correctly. Like really, really long. Like not as long as this one, but still like a really big stage where it'll be infinite in most cases. Um, yeah, visuals are A+. Kind of basic. The music is actually very Soul Calibur-esque, but I do like it. I'm a big fan of the music. I don't think we've seen what the final round is, but so far it's like pretty nice. Not the biggest fan. Like I, I don't think the music is better than these three personally. Uh, I think it'd be a B. Yeah, it's just it's very pretty. Music is good, but like not like the best of the best. Put it in B. Yeah. Fallen Destiny. Oh my God, what a stage, bro! I have to say, I'm sorry. Easy S. This is obviously the one we saw for the initial Tekken 8 reveal, and I was not expecting this one to actually be a stage, but it is. It's a stage. I'm guessing it'll be for like the final boss fight in Tekken 8. I'm not entirely sure, but holy, it's just so good. The music, it's probably, I think that's probably my favorite theme in the whole game. It's, it's gorgeous. This is like, 
it might be the best looking stage. I don't know. It's so pretty to look at. So pretty to look at. I love the tornado aesthetic. Um, it is basic. Oh, yes, that is true. So this is definitely like my uh, my criteria is not going to be that. But this is just like a personal thing. I really I really love this stage. I was so happy when I found out it was actually going to be in the full game. I thought it would be story mode exclusive. And yeah, amazing, amazing looking stage. Sanctum. Sanctum is good, yeah. Sanctum has the really cool second floor. Like really, really cool looking. Um, we have a lot of wall breaks. It's very unique from like a gameplay perspective. Both rounds have really awesome music as well. It's a good stage. This might be an A. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that one. Big fan of that one. Into the Stratosphere. This is another really, really beautiful stage. I love the whole space aesthetic. It's something we haven't really seen in Tekken. And it's, it's like, it's so fucking crazy, but it fits for Tekken, right? Um, the music, I'm not the biggest fan of the music on this one. I haven't heard the last round, so maybe that one will be better, but we'll have to wait and see, obviously. Um, we do have the Floor Blast on this stage. And yeah, like, I feel like the music is the only thing that holds this one back, but... And it is, it is like kind of basic, but I don't know, I have to put it in A just for how gorgeous it looks. Like it's such a good, it's such a good looking stage and I love the idea they were going for. So I'd give that one an A, yeah. Celebration of the Scene, I think it's called. This is Victor's stage, boat in Paris. Really, really cool aesthetic. Bro, okay, the music on this one, it's really, really good. Like one of my favorite themes. I know a lot of people like don't like how they're like, oh, Tekken is going in the direction of all electronic music. I started with Tekken 7 and 6, so I'm just used to that, I guess. But I really like it. I really like the theme. It's really pretty. If I remember correctly, I think it's a pretty simple stage. I don't think there's any like wall breaks or anything special like that. But I don't know, just the boat in Paris. Great music. Another A. I'm really looking forward to getting to play on this one a lot. Okay, Descend into Subconscious. This stage is fucking insane. <laughs> like, this stage is so crazy. Aesthetics-wise, it's, again, up there with this. Probably one of the best-looking stages in the game. It has, I think, three separate floor breaks, and then you get into, like, the final one with, like, the white hands and everything. Bro, this stage is just amazing. Like, it's so good. The only problem with it is the music. Uh, like, I don't know if you guys have heard the music. It's fucking crazy. Like, I'm, I'm probably, I'll, I'll probably play it in the background while I'm making this video, but, the dude, the music is, is insane. It, like, it makes your ear... It makes your ears bleed. I think it's supposed to be like Jin's like inner mind or something. I don't know, but like this is like the perfect stage aesthetics wise. The only thing holding it back is the music, which personally I'm just really not a fan of, but it works with the theme, right? It's just the music in a vacuum isn't the greatest, but I get what they're going for. So it sh probably should be S. I feel like the music just makes it an A, but maybe if the round two is really good, it could be an S. Um, not sure. I think I'll keep it an A, yeah. Azucena's stage. I don't even fucking remember what this one's called. It's okay. They're, I know what they're going for. It's just like the standard. They're trying to recapture the magic of the uh, the yodeling and hills from Tekken 6. But uh, that's what they're going for with like, the music. They're trying to make it like a meme kind of thing, I think. Overall, it's pretty good. Very pretty. I will say that um, the final floor break is really, really good looking as well. I think it's like, what, a balcony break and then a floor break into like the, the gold with all the treasure. That's really cool. Really cool idea. Music I'm not a big fan of, but overall in terms of gameplay variety, there's a lot going on here, so I could see it going an A or a B. It's probably an A, like a low A. This is like me being my most charitable, because like in my mind I want to put it in B just because I'm not, I think it's just I'm not a big fan, but I think yeah, the, uh, the gameplay variety and the final floor make it a solid A, I'd say. Secluded Training Ground. This is an awesome stage, a really, really awesome stage. It's like a mix of the Mishima Dojo and the Howard Estate with like wall break, wall break, wall, wall break. You just keep going and the stage gets bigger and bigger. The only thing it's missing is the balcony break. I wish it did have a balcony break like Howard Estate did in Tekken 7, but overall great stage. Oh bro, we haven't even mentioned the music. This is actually Reina's theme, one of my favorite themes in the game. I was so happy when I found out we'd be hearing it in game. So could be S, could be A. I don't know, I really, really, really like this one. I'll probably rearrange these at the end. I mean, I'll put it in high A for now, but it could go up to S. I'm honestly not sure. Elegant Palace, Lee's stage. Um, not the biggest fan of the whole, like, super fancy, like, music. It's supposed to be, like, super, like, yeah, like a super fancy mansion kind of theme. Not the biggest fan of that. But the stage itself is really, really cool. We have, I think we have wall breaks, we have the balcony break, and then we, have, we go over the balcony. So lots of gameplay variety. It does look really, really pretty, and we get to see, like, his workshop. 
Um, I think that's another A. Like, the stages in this game are just all so good, bro. I have to say, they're all so good. Midnight Siege? I think this is the last one. Oh my god, what a fucking stage, bro. This stage is so good. Like, again, very simple. I think it just has, like, the one wall bounce or something. But it's just, it looks so good. The music just gets you hyped up. This is another, uh, another favorite for me. Full bias, but, like, I really, really, really enjoy this stage. Like, the music with, like, the bass, it feels like something out of, like, a Pokemon game or, like, a Sonic game. I don't know. It's, I, I, I think this is one of my favorite songs in the whole game. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's it. Okay, so, now that I've ranked them all, I want to order it. At least try to order it. Um, Arena, yeah, I think Arena should stay down there. Just because it's super simple. Coliseum. And eh, it's probably my least favorite stage in the game. Yeah. I think this one is definitely my favorite. I want to move. I want to move Descent into the Subconscious to S tier, just because of how fucking pretty it looks. Like it's such a pretty stage. Fuck it. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll move it up. It's just the only thing holding it back is just the music, but maybe it'll grow on me. Um, into the Stratosphere. I think I'll do this. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite in A. Fuck, should I move it up? No, oh, I really like that stage. It's just it is kind of simple to be fair. Um, what else do I not want? This one could go, like, a bit lower. This one could go a bit higher. Um, Midnight Siege. Fuck it, bro. I'm moving it up to S tier. I'm moving it up to S tier, bro. I don't care. Urban Square is okay. This one can go down. Um, I think that's, I think, I, I think I'm good with this. I'll put this one a little bit down as well. I think this is my full list. Pretty happy with this. Obviously, this is all very subject to change. I'm sure it will change. Like, I haven't even gotten a chance to like play this, and we don't even know a lot of the music. But this is like the way. But this is just going to be like my initial impression. So, that's going to be about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Only about four percent of my viewers are subscribed, and it helps me out a lot. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.